<laughs> Hi everybody, it's Ed Lyons and I'm at Doveridge Clay Sports in Utoxta. As you can see, it's pretty chilly, so hence the rather dishevelled appearance. And this morning I've been joined with Adam Gutteridge. Hi there. And we're trying out a few different products. The first is a new type of contact lens for Adam. So Adam's been an AccuView Johnson & Johnson wearer for years and years and years. Since about 2009. Yep. And I think when I met you at the game fair at Western Park, we changed up your contact lenses mm -hmm. and made things a little bit sharper, crisper, and more comfy. Yep. And the first iteration of the Johnson Johnson lenses was the one day AccuView Moist, which is still a really good lens. Then a new lens came out, which is called True Eye, and True Eye was a really sort of highly oxygen permeable contact lens, daily disposable again to reduce uh, cleanliness issues and handling and stuff. The issue with True Eye was that it was quite uncomfortable to wear, so the products in the polymer that made the material more oxygen transmissible made it a bit stiffer, and that wasn't really very comfy to wear. So we then moved on to One Day Active Oasis, which is a new version. And now we're in one day AccuView Oasis Max. And the Max lens has got a different uh, proprietary tear film stability molecule within it, which is supposed to improve end of day comfort. It's also got a blue light filter on, and the idea of the blue light filter is to, to reduce scatter from targets and just make things sharper and crisper and more uh, comfier and clearer. So Adam, how have you found the lens to be? Really, really comfortable, very, very good. From the initial sort of taking them out of the outer skin and handling them and putting them into the eye, tremendously comfortable right from the offset. In the actual working shooting environment, we've got challenging light conditions for there anyway. We've shot a mix of sporting targets, trap targets, uh, quick reaction quartering away stuff. Um, really, really comfortable, sit well on the eye. Uh, anything that I've missed today has not been down to the lens quality at all. Generally, it has been down to finding it in the light conditions as it is. Yeah, uh, wonderful lens. And one of the things we've noticed is historically you've tended to see your little little pinch thing if your lenses have dried out, and you've had these in for a good four or five hours now, or if not longer, and haven't needed to do that at all. Not a problem. Anymore. So uh, I think these lenses are, are, are proven to be really good. So what we're going to do is, if you are a contact lens wearer and your prescription is spherical, so you don't have any astigmatism. Drop a comment in the box below or send me a DM and we'll see if we can get you some lenses to try. This is limited to a maximum of five people. So first come, first served on that. The other product that we've been using or I've been using is the new low light Hiroki frame from Edwards Eyewear. What we did with this lens is to blend the best bits of the orange with the pink spectrum to give a lens which gives you some glare protection but also helps to light up the background and the targets. And this particularly for shooting OT was really, really useful. As you can see, we'll just do a little spin around again. It's pretty foggy, it's pretty cold, and there isn't that much ambient light around and it's pretty pretty dull, uh, but these lenses really help to, uh, to pop those orange targets up. So these are available on the Edwards Eyewear website. They're all custom made. So if you do a pair of these, they can take a couple of weeks to create. But again, drop us a comment in the box if there's something you'd be interested in. They are available in non-prescription and prescription too. So uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this short little video. Sorry, the production quality isn't very good and we look a bit homeless, but certainly life.